Getting you a live look right now outside at Goldsboro. I know not the sunshine we really would like on a nice Monday. We got a little cloud coverage there and well, bad news is going to be sticking around for most of the day here today. We've got meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner, who's been tracking a little bit more on that, not just for today, but also the rest of the week for your forecast. It's going to be quite a week. Lots of things to watch for. Afternoon and evening storms, some of which could be severe. It's going to be hot and humid on several of those days. But the weekend looks like it'll feel like spring again. I'll show you coming up. Uh, right now, dual Doppler 5000 radar. A couple of showers up near Mecklenburg County, Virginia. Um, it's been dry for a bit. We had some early showers this morning. Here's a look at the rain the last 20 24 hours. We've got a good soaking in a lot of places in the last 24 hours, anywhere from half an inch to about an inch and a half. And you can see the brighter colors, the uh, pinks and the reds. That's where we had those, those uh, rainfall amounts over an inch and a half to two inches. So um, it was good to get that soaking. We have more rain on the way this week, that's for sure. Goldsboro, nice and cloudy. Apex is as well. Chapel Hill, courtesy of Top of the Hill Restaurant. And of course, our newsroom there in Fayetteville. We may see a sprinkle or two between now and lunchtime, but the best chance for rain comes mid to late afternoon, three or four o'clock. We start to see this line of storms coming through. Rain will be heavy at times. It'll be blustery, but we probably won't reach severe criteria. Winds would be 58 miles per hour or stronger, but we'll have several waves. You can see more of this coming through during the evening. We'll likely wake up to a few isolated showers tomorrow morning. We might see a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Now that may sound great, but our highs will be in the upper 80s and it will be humid. So not very comfortable outside tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll wrap up the day during the evening with uh, that potential for stronger thunderstorms. Now we do do have a level two risk for tomorrow. Damaging winds, heavy rain possible. And then Wednesday, also same story. Thursday looks like potentially an even better chance for severe storms. Some of that could linger into Friday. So it is going to be a bit of a stormy week, especially during the afternoons. How much rainfall total? Most likely all total through the week will easily end up um, with an inch. Look at that. This is a brand new run of the computer models, two to three inches. Uh, that's certainly not out of the question, especially if those storms set up in the same place day after day. Looking ahead to the weekend, Mother's Day looking much nicer. Mid 70s on Saturday and Sunday, comfortable temperatures. The humidity backs off, but we may see a few isolated thunderstorms on Sunday. And if you like those cooler temperatures, you don't want it to be summer yet. We got some good news. The 14th through the 20th, or at least we have the potential for below normal temperatures. Well, uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. That's for sure. We're going to hit 90 Wednesday and upper 80s for Tuesday and Thursday. But Friday, our temperatures cool off. Saturday looks like an amazing day and really Mother's Day not bad either Ken. Oh that's good to hear. 815 